Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we're going to put a DRO on the 10 inch Atlas lathe. <clears throat> yes, it's been done. Um, Steve did one pretty much the same concept, Steve S. And uh, we're going to use. this DRO and it's magnetic it can uh, stick to metal or it comes with this bracket that you just screw to the wall and then slide down on it and yes I'm back to smoking <laughs> that didn't last long 28 days I went. I've went longer. Anyway, here's what we've got. I've done, uh, disassembled this and took both end caps off of it. Alright. And the only thing I have left is this brain box and the rail. And it used to have these clamps on each end of it. Alright. Well, I went and took them off and drilled a hole in it and counter socket. But then I decided I wasn't going to use that type of screw. Uh, I decided to use this screw. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put this underneath. Well, first, let's get this carriage out of the way. Alright. What I did was I took this off. Alright, that's the shield. Well, I wanted to leave that shield there. So, I just on a different way, a different approach, because I, I want to keep it looking as original as possible, and plus I don't lose this, and uh, that's an important part of this lathe, uh, I would hate to be one of those guys that passed on something that was all buggered up and parts were missing and stuff, if I ever passed it on, and uh, I just took it off, now this hole here is threaded, so, I decided to take this and just go and screw that right up in on top of that or on the bottom of that. And you'll take that screw all the way through. Alright, now we'll tighten that up. It's a little difficult to get underneath of it. If you don't have a whole lot of room, this might not be your ideal way of doing it. Maybe you want to go with Steve's way of doing it. Uh, but tighten it up, and I got a terrible, terrible screwdriver there. But anyway, you want to try to square it up as best you can. Then, <coughs> You take your cross slide all the way back. And uh, take it all the way back until it don't go no further. Alright, now we needed a way you want to straighten that as straight as you can get it by eyeball. You can measure if you want, that's, that's fine. I'm one of those guys that I can look at something and pretty much tell if I'm centered. I can, I can get it within 30 seconds with my eye. Hope I never lose that, but I can. All right, then I made this bracket. And all I did all I was 
cut. Let me find one of these here. It used to be a piece off of a bed frame. So all I did was cut this off right there. And these holes were so close, the original holes, these two right here, were so close to being the same as these two bolts on the back of here, which I found out what that, them bolts are for. Them bolts are actually supposed to have a stop on there so that you don't take your cross slide clean off of it. Because uh, it will. You can thread it or take this and thread it clean off of there and then you start getting a lot of wobble and it'll fall off. Uh, what that is is so that this nut, lead screw nut, will hit that and stop. That's what them two bolts are for. So, I made this bracket and it also acts as the original stop. And then I drilled them out big and oblonged them because they were close, they weren't perfect. And then I took and put a notch in here to allow for that screw right there, the head of that screw. So now, you want to take, and I almost messed up again, last time I did this I put it all together, took, run this down through the hole. And then I made this piece to act as a washer and also to sturdy it up. So this piece will go underneath there. And then we've got three screws and I was fortunate enough to find three of them that I had left over from when I did my tool post. All these screws right here. So now they'll match the screws on my lathe. There's nothing worse than having to uh, work on something and have to have 50 different wrenches and screwdrivers and uh, when you can use the uh, least amount of screwdrivers and get the same job done. Uh, back's been a killing me. And it, it's going to look professional. You know, that's the main thing. When you're working on something, you want to be professional about everything you do. So now, we'll bring, bring this back to the hole that I've got drilled that corresponds with it. Yes, the screws are a little long, but that's okay. I'm also going to put a DRO on the X axis. So uh, these screws, I believe, because they are longer than they should be, it's a good possibility that I can make another bracket to go underneath here to bolt the other DRO, this part too, and have my rail going across here. So. I might be able to use that same bracket to mount that piece. So now, we want to tighten those up. And that's the same Allen wrench as I use on my tool post. I'm thinking about putting another screw right here keep that from doing any of this. And 
you don't have to have them so tight that you're ready to act like Hercules or anything. Alright, now she works real smooth. And this year will stop before it gets to this by about a hair. I've got probably another let's just see what I got nine sixty fourth left to go and my stop is actually working so now we got to put our face plate on so we're going to put that on there but because this is going to hit that because this is higher we needed to raise this so I decided to use screws up here now this will act as two things it'll act as a spacer and it'll also keep this one tight so that it doesn't come loose because remember it's threaded into this and we'll tighten that up and you want to try to keep one of the flat sides of the washer or I mean the bolt perpendicular to this back part right here the reason for that is so that it if anything did get down there it, it wouldn't uh, cause a problem all right that wasn't high enough so I had to do a second one. so We want to try to keep those as straight as possible too. You want those to be the same as the other one. So it don't look all trashy. So now we can put our plate on it and when we tighten it up, it will miss. Because this had a countersunk hole in it for a screw, we had to use a washer. I'd like to have had a stronger washer, but that'll work. Alright, and then to uh, cover these threads, I decided to put a sucker on. That'll lock all them together, and that ain't going nowhere. Now, it misses and goes the whole way. And I can still use my plate. Now, all we need to do is run our wire, which I'm going to find a way to run this so that it ain't so out in the way. Uh, excuse me. Alright, now let's back this thing up. put it on zero and I can't see these things for, for nothing 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 wow these things are hard to see I'm just guessing I think that's on zero alright now we're going to zero this thing out and then we're gonna go. Oh hell, there's like 
almost 20 thousandths. Yeah, 20 thousandths worth of lead screw play. Alright. Well, uh, we're back again. Uh, I forgot. Uh, well, I didn't forget. Um, I decided to make something else for this. Uh, I was thumbing around here trying to figure out a good place to put Well, um, I went in to edit my video and the last part of it, the battery went dead and I lost it. So, I'm, I'm not going to tear this back apart to finish showing you what I did. Um, the last part that I showed was uh, me looking for a place to, a way to route these wires. Well, that was next to impossible without it being in the way of everything. So basically what I did was I took the other piece of bed frame bracket and bent that in that shape and it's got a flat spot on the back side of it as you can see and it's this thing here is magnetic so basically all I did was just uh, bolted it to the original two screws I made right there remember I left them long so it's a good thing I left them long and then um, I just zip tied the wires underneath here so now it will move with it and it stays right with the carriage and I ain't got to worry about the wire hanging up on nothing and she works really good and um, so there you have it the upgrade for the 10 inch Atlas lathe and eventually we're going to have a DRO on the back side of it for this way for the X this is starting to turn out to be a nice looking lathe and now it's uh, coming up to the new days coming digitized <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. Later.